uh, talks about the idea of, you know, it's just a scenario. What I love about it is just a scenario. If you uh, um, you live by the flesh, you die. Really, I, I, you know, that's what it really means. You live by the flesh. But when you uh, it, when you live by the spirit, by mortifying our bodies. And mortifying means to subdue or more likely uh, suppress that we uh, uh, more likely we uh, more likely you know John 330 you know decrease that God can increase in us is the ideal of what is kind of saying mortal uh, the spirit mortify the flesh it the spirit subdue and take over the flesh that we operate in the spirit and we will have life. You know what I'm saying? And you know what I love about what Paul is doing? Paul is really giving you the laws of really the reality of life. You know what I'm saying? It's the sim simple ideal of, you know, when we riding down the road, we're not allowed to, there's a speed limit and when there's a speed limit that there's limitations to how we can go in speeds and this for the purpose of simple is if you go too fast you're it's a great percentage chance you'll crash if you go slow you know you go down a road something like that i mean i try to keep it between you know kind of fast kind of slow but uh, the ideal they got the speed limit is for our safety. It's for the safety for us to know the rules and regulations to certain things that is given to us. But the thing is, the topic of this message, you know, that I want people to understand about why I selected uh, Romans 8 and 13 is the ideal of the reality of true i did a i met i think I, I know i did a video of this it's called true uh exp expansion and false expansion true expansion and false expansion now here's what you must understand about the ideal of the uh uh, uh now i'm finna get all you know uh i love going back to the beginning See, watch this. God said, in, well, you know, God told Moses, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. You know what I'm saying? Now, watch this. Heaven is an ideal of a place that is spiritual, you know, but but the heavens that uh, God was talking about is wasn't talking about the uh, heaven as in spiritual heaven. It was talking about the sky, you know, like the blue sky and all that kind of stuff. There's blue skies and clouds and stuff like that. And the earth. Now, but the heavens are a spiritual place. A spiritual place is uh, the heavens. As those know that there are more likely seven uh, parts of heaven. You know what I'm saying? And the natural heaven is included to those seven parts. But the thing is, the spiritual heaven, and what, more likely what is spiritual, has true expansion. You know what I'm saying? You can truly expand in something that's spiritual. The idea that, you know, uh, King David had this scripture that, uh, uh, that God created all things. You know what I'm saying? He created all things. Now, when he say, when you say you created all things, that is will include the ideal of the universe. And as we know as the universe, the universe is limitless. It has no uh, ceiling. It has no wall. It has no floor. It's just limitless position. But now, the ideal of something's spiritual as what jesus says to god is spirit you know what i'm saying the, and those that worship and worship in spirit and truth that means god is spirit and god is operating in a, a limitless expansion he's a limitless expanded god 
and only through the spirit true true expansion can happen you know what i'm saying more likely the spirit can only facilitate or 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 a cause true span a true expansion to happen you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying and it's and it's created for that you know what i'm saying the uh, the spirit is created for uh, a, a true wider expansion limitless expansion to affinity and beyond and what is you know buzz like you have to okay affinity and beyond anything that's what the spirit is and that's who god has you know in the scripture in the old testament and the new testament present himself in that ideal those that had a relationship with him describe him as king david describe him as a god that of his you know the greatness of his creation that he created all things you know all kind of people in the old testament and the new testament and now the ideal of that is now watch this this is what we need to understand and god created the heavens and the earth now watch this the earth the earth is created in a expansion that you know of uh, as we experience as human beings and people throughout civilization is a is a limited expansion you know what i'm saying even the laws of our planet is unfortunately in a position of a limitless limitless expansion that we gravity says we can't go to the sky gravity says we can't fly up in the sky the laws of gravity said we must come down you know what i'm saying because of the uh, of the position of this earth is in a limited you know expansion you know what i'm saying and the earth is a planet that does not stretch that much you know what i'm saying it, it doesn't stretch that it stretches a little bit but it doesn't stretch as much and it's not created for to stretch much you know what i'm saying but unfortunately it now stresses now i want to give a quick lesson on the beginning you know and the ideals of the beginning well we know when we read our bibles in the old testament that uh we found out people in before the flood lived up to average person lived up to 700 years you know what i'm saying the oldest person you know that lived you know we know as methuselah lived up a hundred and sixty nine years that therefore in the beginning of what god has established was created for something to expand something to spiritually expand now i want to kind of talk about that since i kind of got room on my video uh when when it says in the spirit in the beginning it talks about the spirit of the lord came upon the face of the deep now the spirit of the lord that came upon the face of the deep is pretty much the holy spirit the holy spirit is was a power was the uh force that provided that it that greater expansion of life living on earth it was the holy ghost that made people live like that long time that you know i wish i can you know show you how that idea works and now that holy spirit that spirit of the lord that was in the face of the deep provided men everlasting uh, that a long long lasting life you know what i'm saying you got you know people living up to like a hundred i mean a 400 years old 700 years old 800 years old that expansion was great at that time now when of course unfortunately adam and eve you know the serpent deceived eve and eve deceived adam now now men was operating in sin and now watch this sin we know separates us from the spirit and the more sin that was going on in the earth like it talks about in genesis uh, 6 the more sin the more men continuously with their hearts and their imaginations and thoughts continuously did evil the more separation of the spirit of the lord 
pretty much the Holy Spirit separated from the earth. And when the spirit of the Lord, because of the sin of the wickedness of men, separates from the earth, it limits the expansion of life. It limits people's life, long, living long life. You know what I'm saying? And now that spirit, you know, has expanded to what ex to a great extent, God had to flood the earth. You know what I'm saying? Because of the... Uh, because men are not operating in the expansion of what he created them for. You know what I'm saying? He created them for a greater, longer life. And as what Jesus says, he come to bring life and life more abundantly. Because Jesus is from heaven, from a place of limitless expansion. He comes to come down to die on a cross for our sins that through his blood coming and washing us inside of ourselves that we can get back to the expansion of the spiritual expansion that we was once created for is what Jesus uh, purpose and mission that he came on earth to get us. That's why he says come to give us life and life more abundantly life to a greater expansion of what we're supposed to be living. So now now in that spirit that's why the, the holy spirit comes down to give us the power to empower ourselves to go against a, to eliminate the flesh or what it says in uh romans 8 and 13 to mortify the flesh to subdue the flesh to get the spirit to once again uh give president of uh, Oh, occupy our whole, uh, occupy our heart and our soul and our spirit, you know, love the Lord thy God. I mean, heart, soul, and mind. Yeah, heart, soul, and mind. Occupy our heart, soul, and mind that we love the Lord thy God with all our heart, soul, and mind. That we get the spirit back inside of us. That we can live to the extent of the expansion of the true expansion of the spirit. That we can have long life is what the whole idea of the spirit is all about. But watch this, Satan is deceiving people concerning who we are, concerning that we are, of course, to ask God, you know what I'm saying? We are in the image and the likeness of God, and God is an expanding, limitless person. But what Satan does deceive us with is he's trying to say, no, it's our flesh. Our flesh can expand, you know what I'm saying? He deceived us to try to expand our fleshly body more likely he's trying to tell us we need to uh uh do more more uh indulgement of the flesh as in we need to uh smoke more or drink more to feel more uh, uh expand our own fleshly have sex more uh whatever of the flesh is more 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 and that our flesh will expand to a satisfaction that we're gonna be pleasure, but that's a false lie. Well, it's false expansion and it's a lie that we, it damage our self and damage our flesh because the reason why it's gonna damage our flesh and more likely stress our flesh because our flesh is not created for that expansion. You know what I'm saying? Our flesh is created for a greater expansion. I mean, our spirit is created for a greater expansion as what Paul talks about the expansion in Ephesians uh, 3, the, the breadth and the height and the uh, length. And th that expansion is only can be done by the spirit. It's a spiritual expansion is what we created for. But Satan is going to deceive us and say, no, you can expand your mind. You can expand your, your carnal mind, you know, something of the flesh. Whatever's of the flesh, you can expand it is what he's going to deceive many people. It, you know how it is in the world system. Ladies expanding their breasts, expanding their butt, expanding their lips to look sexy. Guys expanding their body and expanding their, you know what, and expanding their... To, uh, to, to think that in this expansion, you're gonna be satisfied. But in the, it's a lie because the flesh is not created for true expansion. 
It's a false expansion to what we were created for concerning God. Only the Spirit can truly give us the proper expansion that gives us true expansion in our lives. So that's the message, and I hope you understand it, and I hope it makes sense to you about true expansion in the Spirit and false expansion to the flesh. To God be the glory, and forever and ever, and ever. in Jesus' name, amen.